The conventional story we hear about conservation is cast like an old western. There are good guys and bad guys, and the plot line is always a fight, that the good guys have to defeat the bad guys. That's not the story of this book. The book is about five conservation heroes in the American heartland who are really representative of this huge but largely hidden conservation movement that is underway and growing. It unfolds as a journey down the Mississippi River, beginning with a cowboy named Dusty Crary up at the headwaters of the Missouri, and it finally ends up out in the deep blue waters of the Gulf of Mexico with a red snapper fisherman named Wayne Werner. The people that I write about aren't outliers. I didn't go and find the exceptions to the rule out there. What I saw in every one of these communities were huge numbers of people absolutely committed to protecting the natural resources that America is built on. This is really the land that gave birth to all our national anthems. These are our mountain majesties and our fruited plains and our shining seas. I wanted to capture this reality that there are enormous number of conservationists who are in these places we don't really expect to find them. These are the people on the front lines. They know exactly what the challenges are. They are facing them openly. They're talking about them openly. I fell in love with these families. I hope that readers will fall in love with these families, that they will be fascinated by the work that they do on the land and by the innovation that each one is involved in. That's not a story that really gets told. These are, these are heroes that have remained unsung, and that's really why I wanted to write this book.